Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a Home Bargains and where else we go? Poundland Hall. Um, just been back, just got back from Loughborough. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, we just got back from shopping. Um, this little guy fell asleep on the way home. Um, and I thought I'd just show you what we got because everyone seems to love um, a Home Bargains and a Poundland Hall. So, oh, I've got a few bits on primer because I'll, um, so, what you got, Daph? Oh, nothing. Um, so yeah, let's get stuck in. Um, let's do the little primer bits first because it is pretty boring. Um, because I've literally got socks and underwear. Um, yeah, so I've got Harrison some, um, some little black trainer socks, which I think will come in handy in the summer because, oh, I should have gotten white ones, really because I bought him some white Converse, um, not the high tops but like the other ones, so probably should have bought white ones, although I want to get him some black trainers anyway, so yeah, they'll look nice in the summer, I didn't even know they did them in his size, um, and they were £1.80 for seven pairs, then I bought myself some, and these are £1.80 for five pairs, these are normal um, length socks, they're not trainer socks, one pound each with five pairs and I'm always trying to find fucking socks. Um, so yeah, I bought two packs of them. And then I bought, because Harrison, he won't be being potty trained for a while yet, he doesn't understand that at all. Ugh, at all. Um, but I want to try and put him in these um, boxes at night because, like over his nappy, because he gets really hot at night and they were cheaper than shorts and I just thought it looked quite cute running around in little boxes because um, these were £4 for three pairs so you can just wear like his pyjama top because um, all his pyjamas are black and white anyway so they'll match these um, and I thought you could just wear these over his nappy and look quite cute and um, cheaper than shorts so I've got three pairs of them and that, that's it for Primark actually Tell a lie, I was robbed. Um, I was at the counter and it, have you see, ever seen those fuel protein bars? It was a chocolate and hazelnut one, it looked really nice. I hadn't got any prices on. And I asked, the, that was the first thing I asked when I got to the counter. I said, how much is this? She went it through, it was £2.20. £2.20 for a fucking protein bar thing. I was like, yeah, I want it anyway. So I paid the £2.20. Um, but I shouldn't have, but I wanted it, so I did. <coughs> I've got a cold and a cough. Um, moving on to Poundland. Um, the one in Loughborough has just been redone and it was massive and quite good. But I was on a time crunch because this guy was being um, pushed around Loughborough because he wouldn't go in the shops. Every time we walked into a shop he'd just uh, scream and kick off and stuff. So Steph was walking around while I was shopping. Although I'm sure Steph preferred walking around and not shopping. Um, anyway, a little chopping board, which I won't be using as a chopping board. Oh, it says serving board. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using it for. Um, yeah, little serving board. I think it'll look quite... I'm doing Easter um, at my house with all my family. Um, I think Easter's my new, my new holiday. Have you ever watched Modern Family where Claire does Easter? No, does um, Halloween. And she's like, this is my thing. Oh, Easter is now my thing. Um, and I've gone all out. Um, and I'll probably do a video on that later. But yeah, Easter. Cute on the table with something on it. Um, <coughs> and then somehow I've managed to pick up a few different things that actually match that I didn't know they matched. Like I bought this binder. Um, to put all my bills and crap in because the one I've got at the minute is ugly so yeah for a pound I thought I'd update it but I really quite like this just like the paint splotch paint splotch like design they've got a few other things in this but I didn't need them so I refrained um, so yeah that was a pound obviously and then I went around the corner and I went oh that's nice and then I put them in, put them in a basket I was like oh it matches that so yeah, um, I, I've been drinking out of um, like 
around the house and stuff, I've been drinking out of like um, a bottle, like it with a, but he's got like a massive straw in it, and I really struggle to um, suck it up because I've got ulcers and stuff sometimes. Um, so I just needed a normal straw. So I was like, yes, this is cute. They've normally got bloody like slogans on them and stuff like that. So I thought for a pound, we'll see how it goes. I really like it. Although I've just realised that the rubber's come off. I feel like that might be a common problem. <gasps> pound. And then <clears throat> for Easter, and I know they're not very Easter-ish, but they are for Easter. So my Easter decorations are all like black, white and grey and stuff like that, obviously. Look around you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I bought these. Um, pound, obviously. And I just thought they were really cute. I was going to buy two, but then I thought, how often do people actually use napkins at parties? Not very often. These I was robbed with as well. Really not looking at the prices of things, am I? Thought, oh wow, pound for that minute. 300 grams. I need some more of them to fill up my little um, jar for Easter. Um, two pound. I was robbed. Cocktail sticks, which I realise I don't actually need anymore, but I'm sure they will come in handy. I was painting some polystyrene eggs the other day and it was getting all over my hands and I just thought, you know what I need? I need a cocktail stick to shove up the end and then I can just paint all around it and it would have been perfect. I've done all the eggs now, so maybe I'll use them for a display or something. Or into the eggs into something else, I don't know. We'll see. <coughs> Will you move out the way, little Delilah? Um, this was in the little stationery section as well. It's kind of like a faux leather look. Um, a bit like the moleskin, um, but it was only a pound, not 20 and I thought that'd be cute to write um, YouTube video ideas and stuff like that because I've got a few cool ideas coming up. I've got a Mother's Day gift guide coming up um, which I've been talked with some brands and stuff about um, making different for different gifts and stuff so that's exciting. Um, so yeah that can go, all my ideas and stuff can go in there. And the last thing from Poundland I think Yep, it's just these two baking trays because ours are absolutely knackered and these are a pound and I just thought it'd be good for like cooking like Harrison's chicken nuggets and stuff so pound, can't go wrong. <coughs> pardon, pardon me, excuse me. Um, and then we've got home bargains. Um, that's for a video that's coming up. Marshmallow, bunnies and chicks. How cute. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see that? Can you see? Who used to that? Grace Helbig. Um, yeah, I thought they'd look cute just like in a jar or something on the Easter table. Um, a moisture balm mask. I'm really in desperate need of that at the minute. My skin is so dry. It's a Garnier one, I think that was, I think they were 79p and I think it's a £1.49, I think. Um, Easter bubbles, thought that were cute for Harrison um, to put like in a little Easter box or something. And I think they were £1.49. <coughs> also for Harrison, PJ Masks, like a bubble bath, bath and shower gel, but I use it for bubble bath because he doesn't like too much bubbles. So this is quite good for him. Um, and I think that was 79p as well. <coughs> a touch of silver intense conditioner and a touch of silver um, brightening shampoo. Both 199 I believe. And I'm in desperate need of this as well because it really could do with brightening up. They are really good. Um, I've only ever used that brand to be fair. I've never really used... Delilah's like clinging onto the door handle trying to get out. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I've never really used any other purple shampoo brand, so if you do think there is a better version, let me know. Um, I also got um, this mirror 
um, that I saw on this. Oh, oh no, what? Um, I saw on this um, YouTube uh, YouTuber that I um, recently found, and she'd been to Home Bargains, and then I was like, I need to go and get that mirror, but I knew it wasn't in my local one, so I was like, Steph, we need to go to Loughborough. Um, you can see the shit all over the house now. <laughs> um, it was five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. I mean, it is plastic, but it's going outside. Um, yeah. So when I do my um, video, I will show you how I where I put it. But it is going outside because um, I'm going to do it like a decorate my garden with me kind of video because um, it really needs sorting out like I did it when we first moved in which is like nearly three years ago um, which goes so quick um, but I'm just looking at it now it's over there um, yeah and it's like because it's so windy up here everything just gets ruined um, so I don't want anything too expensive out there because it just gets blown away and smashed and stuff so 5 99 absolute bargain because I was trying to find something like this anyway but I didn't want to pay too much so I think the plastic will hold up better than, although I feel like that's cardboard on the back. Anyway, I think it looked cute, especially like as it was only five ninety nine. So it will do the job. <coughs> and then I've got these only natural. Um, they're a bit like naked bars, but I think they're a lot cheaper because all these were £1.49 each. Um, you get four in each. And then I've got the cookie dough, which is really nice, but not my favourite. These ones are really hard for some reason. Um, I've got the cocoa orange ones. These are really nice. And these ones are like really soggy. Like, not soggy, but like really soft. And then my favourite is the cherry bake well, which are in between <laughs> softness and hardness. Yeah, that, that's the thing. <coughs> 79 Pinnick Peach, these were. Um, and I, I believe there will be three little girls joining me on Easter. Um, and I just want to make them like a little Easter treats thing to keep them entertained while they're here. Probably will be doing an Easter egg hunt. Um, Jacob won't be here because he's in America. Um, lucky him. Um, so yeah. It's just the three girls and Harrison, and Harrison would not give any shits about this. Um, I just thought that were cute for when they come round. It's just sticker books <coughs> with press out pieces. I've not even looked through them, I just thought they looked cute on the front. They are cute. I've got the little stickers. Um, these are like press out Easter egg decorations, I think. Um, press out Easter egg decorations, and you've got an Easter tree which you can colour in, I think. Oh yeah, no, use these stickers to do it. Um, let's doodle. Um, egg count, just like little puzzles and stuff. So that should keep them entertained for a while. <coughs> and then. Uh, two more things um, 12 jumbo crayons I bought these for Harrison because he's never really been interested in colouring but I bought him some bath crayons from Poundland a couple of weeks ago and he's been actually drawing on the bath so I thought if I get him something similar and just get some white paper he might he might amuse me amuse me? yeah humour me humour me and just do a bit of colouring just because I think these were like 79p as well so it's good and then last not but not least Maryland cookies because this is Harrison's diet 39p each so I've got five <laughs> and that's everything um I think I spent about just under 40 I think I want to say spent 29 in home bargains spent 
just under 10 in Primark and then just under 10 in Poundland. So yeah, no, 50. Don't tell Steph. Um, so yeah, um, if you enjoyed it, um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and all of that stuff. Um, I do lots of different things. I've not really got a, a niche, should I say. Um, I do hauls and vlogs mainly. So yeah, if you're into that kind of stuff, then please subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Um, thanks for watching and I shall see you soon. Goodbye.